you're gonna half the reward so it goes from 1 to 0 0.5 and then it'll go 0 0.25 0 0.125 and so on but uh, what about the entire cost of the whole referral ecosy ecosystem tree not just the chain of invites so as you can see right here right this is like a case that's not going to happen very often in real life where it's just a, a chain of invite it's most likely going to be a tree structure right so it could because a user invite it could be several people it could be one and then another user invite is not just going to be one person sometimes it could be one sometimes it could be a lot so let's do an example where it's more resembling to uh, how it looks in practice in production so this is the example and um, this is the tree as uh, you can see each of uh, the people have different amount of invites and different levels and uh, we're going to talk about the formula down below here so this is the total payout formula for the entire tree and to calculate it you just uh, follow the formula so take a look at the formula and the page for a second here all right <clears throat> so give me one second here all right all right first thing first we're going to calculate the nw right so what nw is is that w is the total number of node to child connection and the keyword is node to child connection remember this and uh, with n single side reward okay so node to child connection what that basically translates to here is basically the edge between each node so you count the total number of edges right single one edge and then n is the single sided reward so we just count total and then we start with a and b that's one edge and then you go down and you go a and c that's another a and d a and e c and f e and g and e and h as well and then once you add all of those up it's uh, equals to 12 so you got 12 edges and that's where your W is and then since each of them are the first degree of connection basically they're all rewarded with a N and then afterwards you go count to the X which is the total number of node to grandchild connection with N over 2 single side reward and uh, node to grandchild connection that's basically each vertex uh, each edge connected with another edge so it's two edges in a row so you count all the nodes with two edges in a row there's a connection there from a c to f and then uh, a e to g uh, the color change i apologize um, a e to g there you go and then it's A E to H, C F to I, F I to J, uh, F I to K, I K to L, and then I K to M. So you count them up, and then there's A of them. Since these are like the second level of the compound incentive, all of them are rewarded with N over 2 instead of just N. Um, and then you go down the next level will be n over 4 you can see all those with n over 4 rewards will be the nodes to grand great grandchild so basically three links in a row and you count them up a to c to f to i that's you see a three links visibly and then the next you count c to f to i to j and so on, F I K L, 
and finally these are all the nodes that are highlighted are basically all the nodes that participated in a chain and there we, and there are five of them total and all of them will be rewarded with n of 4 going down from n of 2 which went down from n and you just continue on and you find the node great great grandchild connection and then you give them n over 8 so these are great great grandchild basically four edges so four links a c f i j a c f i k and then you can see is c f i k l c f i k m and finally these are all the nodes highlighted which is total number is four right and then you can pick up the pattern here and then you just keep going down and uh, I denoted it with the epsilon is just you keep going down to the node of uh, D grandchild connection and you reward them each with 1 over 2 to the power of D and D is the degree of connection basically basically how many uh, edges there are and uh, since the one we currently have going down to the next level is going to be 4 so we're basically looking for a great great grand great 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 grandchild connections with um, d over 4 so n to the 16 single sided reward right and you just count them up a c f i k l and a c f i k m so there's only two of them and this is a pretty long chain already so on the bottom right you can see all of these uh, the number of connections that are happening and plug all these numbers into the formula you do the math and you come up with this number 30 35.75 n and 35.75 n is the total number of uh, referrals you paid out after remember you multiply the single sided reward by two since you want to do dual sided because the benefits i explained earlier in the in this uh, talk and we can see the total payout for the new referral model is this and let's compare it with the old traditional referral model where it's just double sided referrals so the traditional model is this simple formula where uh, you go 2 times w times n where n is your re reward and w is the number of referrals confirmed so for our example, the same example we have earlier, this same uh, tree structure, we're looking at 12 confirmed referrals. Right? Each uh, edge is a referral, and there's 12 of them total, and what you get is 2 times 12 times n, which is 24. So here we have the comparison. So 35 is about 36, which is about 1.5 times more than 24, 24n. So does that mean it's uh it's just uh one point it's always going to be 1.5 times more well let's take a look so we we look at the the formula right and then there could be a concern is the payout going to how's the payout going to scale like am i going to bankrupt my uh run rate my startup run rate by paying too much for a referral is it going to spiral out of control and the answer to that is uh, let's calculate it the formula for reward is essentially this yeah. and uh, that's basically simplified to that and then we take the limit of this and we can see that it's a uh, it's not a linear growth, it's not an exponential growth. In fact, it doesn't even go up and to towards the right, so it doesn't grow at all. It converges at two. So as you can see, your payout eventually is gonna be stopped at a certain point. And this is, uh, this solves the problem. Like it's not going to spiral out of control, so you don't have to worry about bankrupting, going, uh, going broke because you're paying too much out for your referral program. And it apparently costs about 1.5 times more than traditional model. However, it's only in the worst case. So what this means, there's a best case and a worst case, right? 
best case is basically like structured like left and the worst case is structured like on the right so best case is basically is similar to the traditional model where you just uh, no additional compound incentives need to be paid because everybody's immediately adjacent to another just one one link there's no consecutive links so there's no need for compound incentive being at play however the worst case happens when uh, everybody decides that we're gonna link everybody up instead of like Tom let's say you have users Tom Jerry Calvin and Joe right they decide to instead of uh, Tom inviting both Calvin Jerry and Joe uh, it becomes Tom invites Jerry Jerry invites Calvin Calvin invites Joe so in this case uh, you're going to have additional compound incentives that need to be paid for each additional link uh, level and um, this node is going to be uh, basically a chain and it's going to co cost you more however the, the more is going to converge as we calculated earlier to a certain number and most likely the case is uh, the, the actual real world structure of the referral is going to be a combination of both it's not going to be perfectly looking like the left or perfectly looking at the right it's going to be a mix and match and uh, the advantages of uh, doing this is that it adds a feedback loop right for the referral program where it refers invite more people and it's going to build a bigger reward network for everybody and when you have a bigger reward network body, it'll make people want to go out and refer more, right? So more referrals go out because bigger reward network. And then more referrals cause more people to join because there's going to be more referral invites. And this will also continue to build bigger reward network, which will cause more invites. And then just keeps looping and then keep looping, looping in favor of uh, your startup growth. And also, people who refer now will benefit not only from their immediate friends, right? It'll also benefit from each degree of additional connections as well. And this is uh, very important because it's not no longer just uh, immediate reward. There's also residual, additional, whatever you want to call it. But there is more reward to be had. And it creates a system that benefits everybody symbiotically. You know, each node, edge, each, the edge of each node will provide value for the root node, and each subsequent node will provide value for the root node as well. And all these um, additional rewards are pointing to signs of increasing your referral yield, which means more referrals or possibly higher conversion because people will work harder. Uh, to refer your friends or make sure that their your product fits the right people and uh, yeah they'll make people more willing to invite not only because for benefiting yourself but also their friends and their friends as friends and a key thing here is it also make your friends look good among his peers so uh, how you, you might ask let's say uh, Tom invites Jerry, who invites Calvin, who invites Joe. So Tom, you know, he invites Jerry without knowing that Jerry would invite Calvin and Joe and let's say a bunch of people afterwards in a chain. So now Tom, after Tom invites Jerry and then Jerry ends up inviting all these people. So the, the immediate person Jerry invites is Calvin, right? So by Calvin, by Calvin, uh, Jerry inviting Calvin, Calvin made Jerry look good in front of Tom because Tom is all of a sudden he's like wow I invited Jerry and Jerry got all these people to sign up I didn't even do any additional work Jerry Jerry is the guy Jerry is the boss right so this is make your friends look good among his peers is something uh, it's something intrinsic to Facebook as well that's uh that's the whole reason why they got they got going in such a high momentum, high growth is that you want to always not only benef benefit your friends 
and you also want to make them look good at the same time collecting good rewards.